So what are the dimensions? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emma and I'm so happy to be in the first online tutorial with the Target Academy. We're here today to renovate my bedroom and Ben is going to help me to install a vinyl floor. Hi Ben! Hello Emma, I'm the Target Technical Expert and I will show you today how to install a vinyl floor. Okay, let's do it! I'm so excited but I must say I am not a DIY expert at all. Don't worry, we will go step by step and you will see it's not so hard. Today, we are going to need safety gloves, a cork press, measuring tape, pencil, blades and knives, vinyl cutter, and finally, a two meter metal ruler. Okay, so we have everything now. I guess we can start. Let's go. Okay, so first we have to swipe the floor to remove the dust. You can also use a vacuum cleaner if you want. Okay, so now our subfloor is clean. We will now control that is flat enough for our installation. So for that, we will use a steel ruler, a two meter long. We'll place it on the subfloor and we will check that there is no gap underneath. But like, let's say it's not flat. What should I do? In this case, you will have to do a leveling compound. Okay. But in our case, as you can see, it's not needed. Prior to any installation, it's also important to check that there is no humidity remaining in your subfloor. For this technical tip, you will just use a plastic foil that you will place on your subfloor, approximately 50 by 50. Okay. You will seal it with a duct tape and 24 to 48 hours after, you will check that there is no humidity by the foil. Okay, so now that we are sure our subfloor is flat, clean, and dry, we can start to install your iconic vinyl floor. Did you already choose the design? Of course I did. I chose the skein herringbone blonde, and I love the wood pattern. Yeah. What do you think? Very nice design. And it's a pretty good choice because the herringbone pattern will make your room look much bigger. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so now the roll is in your bedroom. But before starting, did you acclimatize the product? I did, yes. I left it in my living room for like 24 hours, as the salesman told me. But like, why is this important? In fact, it's to have a softer material. You will see it's much easier to install like this. Okay, great. So I presume that to order the material, you have measured the size of your room. Of course I did. So it's 280 by four. Okay, nice. So as you have a cut of three meter large, we will have 10 centimeter on each side to adjust it and to adapt in case of mistake. Wonderful. Good, so let's unroll it. Yay! Okay, the second technique here is very simple. You put one of your legs on the material, like this. Yeehaw! <laughs> exactly. And now very slowly, you push with your foot. Perfect, that's enough. A small tip now, if you want a better aesthetic in your room, I highly recommend to install the wooden pattern in the direction of the incoming light. So if like here, the window is behind me, it's better to unroll your product in this direction. And especially for herringbone design, make sure that your sheet is really parallel to the wall. For this, you will measure the top of one herringbone to the wall at the beginning and at the end of the room. So what do I do with the corners now? So once again, quite easy. We will use the cork press to press the material to the wall. Okay. And then we will cut in each corner to release the material. Like this? Yep. Fine, so now we will prepare the outside corner. You will bend the material. I will draw a line and you will just have to cut along it. Right? Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, before Please use your safety gloves. Oh, safety first, okay. So, just take the blade. This one? Yep, the hook blade. So just come closer and cut along this line. Okay. okay. 
Well done, Emma. That's a very nice cut to look now. Just when you place back the flooring, we will be able to make the inside corner. You will have to reproduce it here. Okay. So once again, you bend the material here, you push it into the corner, you use the hoof blade, okay. and at 45 degrees, you cut. You move it back in the same direction. Okay. And it fits into the corner. Well done, Ben. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's your turn. Prepare the material, bend it, and make the 45 degree cut. Congratulations, Emma. That was a very nice cut. Thank you. As we have done now all the corners, we can start to trim along the wall. I'm so ready. For that, you will use a special tool. It's called a vinyl cutter. I saw it. I never saw that in my entire life. You will see it's far much easier than using a knife. So we will just start from this corner. I will show you how to start, press, mm -hmm. and you will just push it all along the wall. Sounds good. Okay, here on this small piece of wall, we won't be able to use a vinyl cutter. Okay. So here in this case, you will use the knife with the hook blade. You will just place it like this in your hand, press it with your finger. You will go inside the corner and just cut it. Are we done or is there any glue or tape to add to it? In fact, in such a room, like a bedroom, okay. as it's less than 50 square meter, thanks to Target Iconic product, you don't need any adhesive, any tape. It's a full loose lay installation. Brilliant. I love the result. I'm a big fan of it. It's so elegant, warm, cozy. Thank you so much. And it's much. really nicely installed. Congratulations. Thank you did a great job. Really good team. <laughs> One last tip, if you want to go further, you can install skirting in your bedroom. And you can check out our tutorials with the Target Academy, just right here. With this final touch, the room is complete and it's absolutely beautiful with the furniture. I love it. And you can check out other online tutorials with Target Academy. See ya!